Hello and Namaste everyone. This is me Rosie and you are watching Smile Entertainment. If you are coming to Australia and you are confused thinking what to get from your home country, then you have came to the right place. Without further ado, let's get started. First thing I would say is self-love. You have to carry immense love and independent version of yourself before coming to Australia. Once you land into Australia, you will find yourself in the different world and there will be no one to take care of you. You will have to look after yourself because everyone is so busy. Nobody has time. Bring your family photo because whenever you're sad and whenever you feel very low, you can watch your family photo and you can just put on your heart. Secondly, I would say invest in a good quality luggage bag because you'll have to put everything in your luggage, right? You can get a good luggage bag according to your budget and according to your airline's limit as well. Third thing is vacuum storage bag. Oh my god, that's so cool stuff. You have to get one. I mean one bundle. Your fluffy things will be compacted and you will get a lot of space in your luggage so that you can carry food. A lot of things you know you can get them online and uh, there is plenty in amazon as well go check it so let's talk about documents what you might need first thing get a clear bag and get all your documents like your visa passport your noc letter nowadays and your covid vaccination digital certificate also your um, police clearance as well and your academic documents so it might be your coe offer letter, um, work experience letter, be sleep from where you've worked. That might be a plus point in the future. Bring your marriage certificate with you and your driving license is a must. And please, not just only your physical documents, you can also do scanning of your document and you can put it in your drive and make a folder before you travel to Australia so that it would be secure in the drive and you will also have the physical documents handy and then what else you need now let's talk about medicine you can bring three months supply of your basic medicine yeah, like multivitamins uh, daily supplements first aid and your diclofenac panadol vix we Nepalis and indians we use it don't we some ointment maybe move and don't forget to bring your prescription with you. You can also bring some uh, crepe bandages like leg bandages, oh, back belt, so that you can tie over your back in case if you feel back pain, it will give you some support while you work. So let's talk about academics and stationery. You can bring your laptop if you have already got one, but if you are planning to buy a new one, um, please don't buy in your home country. You can get a new laptop in Australia as well because there is not much difference in price and I would suggest uh, buying here over buying a new home because you can get a good warranty here as well back. please bring a university laptop back and of course don't forget your laptop charger your three pin adapter we generally use three pin in our PowerPoint please be mindful about that you can bring a notepad and a pen if you feel like writing anything so just bring a small stapler you can get it in a stationery shop so that um, if you need uh, to staple the documents when you apply for a job and if you are um, going to distribute the resume or something you can always use that if you have got your own and you can also bring some books which might be helpful to you in your um, study you know let's say for example if you are studying nursing you can get many nursing books from your home country so that it would be helpful in your course of study as well you can take it as a reference let's talk more about electronics and gadgets i know you guys like it bring your phone of course and your phone charger and get a good quality power bank get an extra cover for your mobile phone your airpod or your earphone if you have got gimbal you can bring them if you have got tripod which is um, heavy which is not heavy I mean if you are interested into camera and vlogging you can bring your setup get your selfie stick as well and also don't forget to get a card reader let's talk about your favorite clothes please don't forget to bring your traditional clothes trust me there will be so many uh, programs in your workplace and the community um, programs and you can show your uh, culture in australia how cool is that and one thing please do not forget to bring your country zanda 
if you are from nepal bring your nepal ko zanda if you are male you can get um dhaka topi dobra surwal and coat pant and hari uh, suit which goes with that and if you are female you can bring some sari you can bring some kurtis and some other uh, traditional clothes as well bring blouses in different colors so that it will go with different saris you have to go through a lot of interviews before you join to the work so please bring some clothes which would be suitable for your interviews like a white plain shirt and a black blazer and black pant if you are female you can bring a black formal skirt or pant whichever you like and a black formal closed suit which goes with that get two comfortable black pants so that you can wear them at your workplace uh, we normally use black pant at our work two black colored polo t-shirt with collar and a white polo t-shirt as well in case if you have not got your work uniform you can always wear them and it will look decent rather than wearing any other casual t-shirt or shirt for casual clothes you can bring the clothes depending on which state you are moving to so if you are coming in winter season please bring a lot of winter clothes and if you are coming in summer season make sure you bring enough summer clothes as well you can also bring a pair of summer pajamas and a winter pajamas and bring one or two high neck and some wind shooters in one or two a sweater a jumper hoodies cardigan bring a trouser with warm fur inside it i really love that and you might also go outing with your friends so in that case you can bring two to three ripped jeans two to three shorts and some jump Please shoes bring your two piece or your swimsuit to go to the beach bring your puffer jacket leather jacket because it is so expensive here it's better to buy them there you can get a long overcoat from your home country that will be affordable if you buy it there bring your winter cap and a hat for summer bring your scarf and muffler 10 undies and 10 bras if you are female you can bring them more if you like bring some pair of socks you can get some black socks some white socks and, and some, some other stylish other. socks which you can go for outing and party some pairs of gloves bring stockings like a thin one and thick one as well please bring a thermal because it is so expensive here and you can get a good quality over there as well a pair of shoes according to your preference and also some sandals so bring one thang which is the regular um, normal chapel whatever you say don't forget to bring your umbrella because you never know the when moment it, it is sunny and when you go out it might be rainy and you have to get your umbrella bring your raincoat and just bring at least two bed sheets and pillow cover bring your microfiber blanket and a pillow and put them in the vacuum storage bag and it will reduce their surface area so that it would be so light and um, space free let's move to toiletries please bring a thin towel for you if you're female please bring your sanitary you bring your tampons or pads whatever you use you might feel jet lag and you can also bring some masks like 10 to 15 a sanitizer you might need it and it's not compulsory you can skip it as well bring a toothpaste brush lipstick if you are female two or three soap maybe two bring some pouch shampoo you can bring pouches of conditioner as well it's easily available you can bring a hair serum because it is expensive in australia and some clips to pin your hair and some scrunchies to tie your hair a good sunscreen of good spf eyeshadow if you like eyeliner mascara comb or hairbrush wipes a small box of tissues face cream moisturizer lip balm a watch nail polish if you like nail polish remover sunglasses if you are a student you'll have to study a lot in computer so i recommend you to get um, blue rays glasses it will protect your eyes from blue rays and if you work a lot in computer or if you play a lot in computer or if you watch a lot of tiktok if you wear glasses please bring a pair of glasses because if one is broken you have a, like you can get another pair in emergency you can also bring your contact lenses if you wear them and you can also get some other stuff now let's talk about utensils because mummies they pack a lot of utensils in your luggage be careful bring a spatula bring a spoon and bring a plate for you maybe tamago if you like please one. bring a pressure cooker it is a must one or two liter fry pan which is very light and very small one don't need to buy a big fry pan if you have a light blender and if you want to carry it please go for it a blender with three pin okay you can get a roti 
pin roller, belna if you eat a lot of rotis, and a masala dabba if you're Nepalese Indian. We love it. Let's talk about food now. I know you guys like a lot of YY. You have to make chatpate. Please bring some for me as you well. You can bring some jimbu if you want to. Jhaning in the dal, masala powders. You can bring chawan pras if you like. Dried mushroom. I don't recommend bringing a lot of food stuffs in Australia. Is very strict in the. Please do not bring any seed items, like gera gudi or jeera dhania or anything. Please do not bring them. You can easily get them here, and it's not very much expensive. And whatever food you're bringing from your home country, please make sure that they are labeled and uh, they have got a good expiry date oh my god i almost forgot about money, money. you can just um, bring about 200 dollar cash you don't need much in april you will need money until you join some work so after you are into any work and then it would be fine and that was it i hope you guys like the video if you did please like say subscribe and comment down below please let me know what other topic i can cover in the next video let me know in the comment section Thanks so much guys, love you, bye!